How's it going, family? My name is Ricky Rick, and I want to welcome you to a, a new episode, uh, not a new episode, but it's something new that I wanted to do with you guys today, and I think it's sort of important that I do this with you guys. Uh, the reason uh, I do this video, um, I, I'm doing this video right now, is because it's almost the end of the year. It's, uh, it's going to be 2016 in a few hours, you know. <laughs> so the time I'm recording right now, it's in the afternoon. But when by the time you guys see it, it's already gonna be like I don't know when, <laughs> hopefully soon. Uh, anyways, but this video is gonna be something a little bit different than I do on my channel. So twenty three things about me. Uh, this my birthday is actually on December December eighteenth, uh, ninety two nineteen ninety two. I was born that exact date. Uh, is I live in California. I'm not gonna tell you where in California because I want to keep that private <laughs> only my friends know where i live of course obviously so i have an older sister uh, i'm not the only i'm not the only child in the family uh, i do have an older sister um she's older than me by two years so that's a fun fact for you guys and you guys all know what i mean when i have an older sister um because when we were little she would always boss me around all the time like she would tell me don't go here don't don't do that my mom would encourage it because she would always say when i'm not around you have to listen to your sister so i'm like oh are you serious and it kind of sucks being you know the the, the younger sibling in the family so i love toys i especially love legos um legos is my favorite has been my favorite toy since i was a little kid i remember i know I had other toys. Cars was my first toy that I remember seeing in one of the old videos that I had. Um, so yeah, Cars would be one of my first um, would be my first toy. But my favorite favorite toy of all time uh, would be Legos. I grew up with Legos and I still love Legos. You know, I I don't play them because I, of course I don't have money. <laughs> Uh, I enjoy playing video games. To be honest with you guys, um, I know some people might say it's like, oh, you're wasting your time and all that. Like, but honestly, um, it's it's a good it's a good way to sort of um, let go of you know the the, the, the sort of like um, things that you know you go through and, and all that. And video games are have always been part of my life. I think s since I can remember. Uh, like I said, I grew up in Nintendo. Um, my first console I remember was the uh, Super Nintendo. That was my very first console, and the first game that I had was what that the first game that I had was the uh, um, the Super Super Mario World, I think Super Mario World Advance or something. No, no, that was for the SP. I'm sorry, it was Super Mario World. Now I'll put a link in the description. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll put an image like right around here or somewhere like that. And um, that's the very first game I had for the Super Nintendo. So yeah. <laughs> And my second console that I remember was um, was the 64. I remember it very clearly. Um, my dad bought it for me. We went to like sort of like a Costco back then. It was it was called Fetco, but then I I don't know they they shut it down or something. So it just never. But that's where my dad bought it. I remember very. I remember like clear as crystal. Um, it was a Nintendo 64, and it came with the bundle. It came with um, Super Mario 64. So yeah, <laughs> I know I'm that old. Um, yeah, and whenever I got sick, I remember sometimes I would just act sick so I can stay home and play with my Nintendo 64. <laughs> so, and one of my favorite games that I remember playing was, um, besides Super Mario um, 64, was uh, Mario Golf and Mario Tennis and Mario Kart. Oh, you gotta have Mario Kart with the 64. My favorite character would be Mario from the, from the Nintendo series, because I love Nintendo. Um, but... Mario would stick to me for a while, but then after quite a, a few, you know, after a while, I started liking Luigi. For some, I don't know, for some reason, I still love Luigi. He's my favorite character. I even have like a little, little character right here, <laughs> little Luigi right there. See him? So, anyways, um, yeah, Luigi has been my favorite character. Um, even though I like Mario, but Luigi sort of like sticks to me. I don't know why. <laughs> My favorite color is green. Um, I grew up with green. Uh, I did grow up with green. What am I saying? Uh, as you can see, my green, my back, the back right here is a green screen, which I'm gonna be. I don't know if I should cover it up or should put something else. I don't know. Anyways, my favorite color is green. I grew up with Disney as well because I think everybody has grew up with Disney, um, especially for us when we were kids, because we were we were 90s kids. And I remember we had like a collection of Disney movies, me and my sister. There were cassettes, there were like 
you know the old cassettes now if, if you, you grew up um, in the 90s the cassettes were like these big things you know you would put in the vcr and then you know you'd have to rewind or get like another separate device to rewind your tape and then watch it again so it was like a, a big hassle for us back in the days before we had dvds you know <laughs> but we we grew up with disney and by far my favorite disney character back in the days was um let me see i don't think i have a favorite disney character back in the days i'm trying to remember hold on oh yeah how, how can i forget about this it's um woody he was my favorite character Woody and buzz from toy story they were my, both my favorite characters i remember growing up <laughs> i love toy story it's a really fun movie it's a really good movie i used to skateboard um and i think you know when once you get into your teen your teen years uh, this was back in i think i started back in high school middle school i think i believe middle school if i can remember because this is quite a while uh, back then um middle school i think i started skateboarding um yeah my favorite my favorite skateboarding uh, company was i remember it was baker boards uh i uh my clothes and everything would be based on baker in america and all that I used to have many i have many skate injuries on my left ankle i actually tw i tore a ligament like twice i think no i twisted it once but it wasn't that bad and then the second time yeah i i sort of broke a ligament and i s had to wear like a uh, crutches and i had to like walk that like, that way for like well how, how long was it before i started skating it was like about four weeks i think so it was like about almost a month i remember that so it was it was it wasn't a serious injury but the one that was serious um, was when i remember um i think we were 15 at that time so we were crazy me and my cousin we both used to skate and together i remember um when we were coming back from uh walmart or i think target and we were we were you know crazy kids back then and then i told my cousin hey you know what um let's go sketch on the back of your mom's car in which case my aunt's car and so we, if you don't know what sketching is or like grabbing onto the back of the car was um it, it's pretty much that um so we grabbed onto the back of the car with our boards while my aunt was driving and next thing you know i see i sort of look down on my board and the board the board sort of goes like sideways and i got scared so i let go and then i think my board got caught on like a little piece of rubble or something and then i ended up flipping forward and i ended up flipping forward this way and so i rolled sort of like quite a while and then next thing you know i tried to get up so i you know so i, I couldn't alert my mom because my mom was in the car too so I didn't want to alert my mom thinking that I, I hurt myself and I, I got up fine and for a while it, it was hurting my arm was hurting this whole entire arm was hurting for like a while and my cousin's like oh no you're fine <laughs> you know you're fine you're, you're okay and then next thing you know um, it was still hurting the other day and then my mom told me you know what we're going to the doctor and sure enough they took x-rays and my clavicle was broken if you don't know what, what part of that, that bone is educate yourself I'm gonna put like a little picture right here so that's what I broke and to this day it hasn't healed well um it, right now the bone is sort of like like this on top of each other right now i play guitar i don't play it professionally but i do play uh the guitar i'm afraid of flying on a plane now we're going into like my deepest fears um one of them is flying is um flying on a plane i'm a computer nerd uh, I think I've been a computer nerd since like, forever, <laughs> as far as I can remember. Um, I'm a fan of Iron Man. <laughs> um, I remember back in the days um, when I was, I think, uh, the first Iron when the first Iron Man came out, the first movie. Uh, I saw it. I was like a huge fan of Iron Man. I was like, oh man, I want to become. I want to build an Iron Man suit, you know. My first car, I remember I got my license when I was 18, and my first car was a Lexus. But it's not one of those brand new Lexuses. It was an old car that my dad bought. He bought it at, at, an, at an auction, and it was salvaged. So it's a pretty old car, and up until recently, it broke down on me. So, yeah, that was my first car. <laughs> uh, but it died, it died on us a, a couple of, uh, I think two years ago, it died on us. 
and now I own a, a you know gas saving car, which is actually pretty good. I'm I was actually kind of sad to see my car go, my first car you know, being sold, because um, it it had a nice engine. It, I mean, I love when the the car goes, you know, the the, the, the racing it, because it was a racing engine. And when the the motor would you you press the gas pedal and the motor would just like run, you know, it would rev up. I love the sound of that. Yeah, but I have a new car and it's a gas saver. And believe me, when you're in college and you have to go, if you have to, you have to leave from home to school, believe me, you're gonna want to save up gas because from my school it's like about 15 minutes. <clears throat> it's a 15 minute drive, even though it's not far. But you know, having to go like every day back and back and forth, back and forth, it's a gas. It, you would want to have a gas a gas saving car. Believe me, trust me. I love dogs. Um, sorry, cats. I don't. I like. I like cats when they're, you know, when they're kittens. But when they're they're older, they're like less lovable for some reason. I don't know why. And dogs, they don't do that. They're cute when they're small, when they're puppies, and then they're still, you know, adorable and they love you when they're adults. Um, right now, we actually we own a. Um, uh, I don't know what how to classify him, <laughs> but he's a fr he's like a small French poodle, like a. He's like a mix with, between, he's like a multi-poo, I guess you can say. He's a small multi-poo. I do go to college. Um, so, yeah, being the age of 23, um, I started going to college when I was, I think, 19, I believe. Um, and I'm about to finish already. So, in 2016, which is coming up, I'm about to finish um, my animation degree. So, yeah, <laughs> my associates of animation, actually. Um, and I plan to go to um, a school near Laguna Beach. Um, it's called Elcat. I really do want to go there, but then at the same time, it's like... So I'm still deciding on what to do, but as far as I'm concerned, YouTube being a YouTuber, um, being on YouTube is going to be like my part-time, I guess, <laughs> right now. Um, So I do know how to program a few languages. Uh, and program when I mean programming in different languages is um because when you program a, a, like say a game, which is what I've done so far, which with with a friend of mine, um, programming la in languages is um, there's lots of languages for programming. So for example, there's C plus plus, C sharp, Java, JavaScript, um, Ruby. There's a Python. There's a whole mess of other ones too. New ones that are emerging. And they're more easier for people to actually you know, program to. Um, one of the things that personally for me is like I don't drink or I don't smoke. I don't do any of those type of things. I try to keep healthy um, because uh, I don't do any of that type of stuff. It's like, Ugh, you know, it's nasty. I enjoy seeing people happy and laughing. For me, I think <clears throat> personally for me, I, I love people. To, I love to see people happy. And that's what I want to do for this channel. Um, even though it's gaming and I know there's many people out there doing it, I want to try focusing on you guys. I want to try um, making you guys happy, making you guys smile, and laughing, especially laughing, because I think laughing is one of the best medicines out there um, for any type of illness. Um, laughing is something that I think uh, has followed me for a long time. Even though there's been bad stuff happening in everybody's lives, even mine, and er we all have it, we all have problems. But I think laughing is one of them. It can be one of the health, you know, it can be healthy for you. It can help you out in anything that you, you're passing through. So for this year, I want to try to communicate more with you guys. I want to try being more, um, more, how would I say, more closer to you guys. So hopefully next next year will be a lot better. It will be a really good, good year for us. So, you know, for the subscribers that are subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for being here for me for the 2015, even though I was only for like six months in 2015 in YouTube. But hopefully this year will be a really good year and hopefully we'll meet a new milestone, which I hope to have at least 100 subscribers for this year, at least. You know, I'm not hoping to to have like um, 20 billion subscribers or something like that. No, <laughs> the point here is to have, you know, have fun with the channel to, you know, be here for you guys to enjoy having to do these videos with you guys. And the only way to support to support that is by subscribing and, um, you know, interacting with each other, because I think that's what actually helps most people out as well. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next year. Hopefully it'll be good. And as always, you know, this video was for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next year. 
and hopefully uh i'll be showing up in new new um new shows for next year and my other because i'm going to be making another channel it's going to be um for anime like a little animated cartoon so hopefully we'll see how that project goes i'll be giving you insights on how those projects will be going like little snippets of the, the animation so hopefully um oh yeah and another thing too me and my friends are doing a game actually and i think i mentioned that throughout my videos before we're making a game and hopefully you guys will see that next year it's taking a long time because we actually started it um back in summer of last year and we're taking quite a while because um you know i'm doing youtube and i haven't been actually you know cooperating my part but hopefully um we'll get it finished th next year well which is in um you know 2016 hopefully it'll be out uh, by next year so yeah just stick around for that and i'll show i'll be showing you guys um little previews here and there so hopefully you guys enjoy that those previews and um yeah so as always i love you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up if you liked it so as always, love you guys, take care, bye bye Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you want to help me reach our 100 subscribers milestone, share my videos with your friends, your family, your loved ones, or you can leave a shout out and I might just feature it on my videos. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you in an awesome 2016.